Others have claimed that the disciples simply made up the whole resurrection story. Right? So it wasn't, yeah, yeah, it wasn't hallucination. It was just made up, right? They wanted Jesus to be the Messiah so badly and were so disappointed after his death that they concocted this grand hoax, right? Mm -hmm. Is what our authors tell us. They stole the body of Jesus and then claimed Jesus really was the Messiah and that he had been resurrected from the dead. Yet, obviously, this theory cannot hold yeah. any water either. They, right? they bribed the guards, the <laughs> guards who would be put to death if anything happened. Uh, first, it makes no sense that the disciples would make up a story that claims Jesus is Messiah because he was shamefully crucified and then was raised from the dead, yeah. since this was not common expectation for a Jewish Messiah. Yeah, so nobody expected a crucified Messiah. No one. Right? In fact, the Messiah was supposed to be the one doing the crucif <laughs> crucified. Right, right. <laughs> right. He was supposed to be uh, whipping the, the Romans out of, yeah. out of Israel. Yeah, yeah. Ehrman himself makes the point that Jesus did not meet the expectations of the first century Jews had regarding the Messiah, and Ehrman is certainly right at this point. And this is why that in the Gospels, when Jesus tells the disciples that he would be killed and then he would rise again, the disciples do not comprehend his prediction. Well, what do you mean yeah. about yeah. this? And he says it multiple times, and they're like, I mean, he's talking in stories at times, and then he tells us what, what's happened. Let's ask him, because maybe he forgot to explain yeah, to yeah. us what What, what, what kind meant. of parable is yeah. this, right? Take yeah. up your cross and follow after me. Yeah. Okay, uh, it, it's hard. Uh, you're, you're using the language of, of the cross. Er Ehrman would say that that's a later incantation. Uh, <laughs> but but dying, I, 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 you mean like die to self? I don't know what that means. Yeah. No, no, that literally means I'm going to die. That's yeah. why I've, we're going to Jerusalem, even though Jer Jewish leaders hate us. <laughs> I don't know what that means, Jesus. You're going to have to keep going. <laughs> uh, in fact, because of these expectations of what the Messiah would do, right, and because of the prevailing cultural uh, worldview, it would have been difficult for people to accept the resurrected Jesus, right? I mean, you had to, you know, why in the world would they accept this kind of Messiah? Right. Uh, the idea that the disciples would have made up the story of Jesus' resurrection assumes that people were expecting the Messiah to first be killed and then to rise from the dead. And so, you know, that's what people are expecting. This is the one. This is, that is not what they were expecting, right? Or were at least open to the idea, but this just it wasn't the case. Uh, yeah. uh, Palm Sunday, you know, yeah. the, the, this is the Messiah who comes, takes away the sins of the world. Uh, he's our king. Yeah. He's dead. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, hopefully, it's over. hopefully no Romans saw that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is more is if the disciples made up such a claim, it seems impossible to believe that they would have carried their hoax so far, being severely persecuted, in many cases given up their lives in very gruesome detail, mind yeah. you, yeah. for what they knew was a lie that they themselves had concocted. Yeah, so I know this is a lie. I know it's not true. I'm just making it up, but I'm willing to die for it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to recant if I'm hung upside down and a saw is placed between my legs and they start cutting <laughs> until I'm dead. That, I, I, I'm pretty sure the word fanatical comes to mind there. <laughs> yeah. And so there, there's at least something there. So if someone is going to deny the resurrection, he or she must be able to explain how a small band of defeated followers of Jesus were transformed almost overnight into bold witnesses, risking death by proclaiming his bodily resurrection before many of the same people who 50 days earlier had participated in his crucifixion. Yeah, They go out, they're in a locked room. Then they come out of the locked room and they seem emboldened and suddenly they're growing in population, and and they're doing it at the peak time when Jewish believer, or, you know, the J Jewish uh, people are coming into the city, and they're creating followers. This yeah. is this is an odd thing happening. <laughs> yeah. So you know that they made it up. Come on, really. Thirdly, uh, that all four gospels have women as the first eyewitnesses to the resurrection stands against those who claim these accounts are you know mythical legends produced by the disciples. Right. If uh, first century Jews were going to make up a story, it would be counterintuitive to make women the first uh, eyewitnesses. <laughs> Why? Well, in this culture, women were not permitted to testify in a court of law. Right. So they weren't their testimony wasn't seen as, as uh, reliable and as men. The fact that all four Gospels include women as the first eyewitnesses then points to the historicity of the uh, resurrection. Mm -hmm. After all, if the gospel writers were simply inventing, inventing the stories of the resurrection, surely they would have invented 
male witnesses, right? right. As the first report uh, of the empty tomb. Yeah, uh, right? J- John gets there first, then Peter, because he's yeah, slower. But but then then Mary can come up behind. Yeah. She's at least yeah. third. Yeah, but we won't have Mary say anything. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. right. yeah. So as a man's testimony was viewed as reliable and would stand up in court, but all four mm-hmm. Gospels have women as the first witnesses. Oh, the most up. reasonable explanation of this, having women as the first witnesses, is that this is how it actually happened. Mm. Right? Mm. And they're trying to accurately portray it because it would have been so easy for them just to say, well, yeah, it was them. But, but I mean, they came back later. Let, right. let's, let's, let's put them second. That's right. No, they're, they're saying, like, we're hiding. We're, we're, us, us 11 men are in, in hiding. In, <laughs> and in, the in women are room. going forth and to like, deal. Let, yeah. Let's go ask the Romans if we can <laughs> anoint the body. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, again, uh, anoint the body for a Jew. Uh, to touch a dead body it, it is it makes you unclean. You have yeah. to purify yourself, uh, go outside the city, all these things. But they're the ones doing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's a little embarrassing, isn't it? Isn't it, Peter? <laughs> So finally, the alternative model says uh, you create scenes uh, involving uh, luminaries to buttress the credibility of the made-up story or of a source otherwise unknown. Right. Yet, we do not have a report in the tradition of Jesus' appearance to Peter alone or James alone. Who were the luminaries? Right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, as, especially those two. Yeah. If uh, one were making up such stories and multiplying them, why do we not have uh, such a detailed account when the tradition knows of such appearances. This shows how carefully and circumspectly the tradition was passed on. There are no additions of the type we might expect if the stories were created to make an impression. Right. So yeah, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, aliens come down, where are they going? The white house. (laughs) There's no other person that, that, that that they would respond to. Uh, It's gotta be the president of the United States. It can't be anybody else. Right. Um, Right. So, you know, if they did make it up, they didn't do a very good job. Yeah, right? it was terrible, <laughs> terrible work. <laughs> uh, N.T. Wright was, was, uh, has uh, articulated this. He That's says good. that the yeah. historian may and must say that all other uh, explanations for why Christianity arose and why it took the shape it did are far less convincing as historical explanations than the one the early Christians themselves offered. (laughs) That Jesus really did rise from the dead on Easter morning, leaving an empty tomb behind him. Right. 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 When we, when we see these, um, these other messiahs rise up and they die, the group just goes away or they find a new one to follow. Right. Uh, We really don't like the Romans. You say that you're the Messiah that has come because I mean, what, what's a better rallying cry than, I am in the line of King David, and I am here to <laughs> to throw out just like we did the Babylonians and the Assyrians. Well, I mean, we didn't do that, but we should have, and so we're going to do it with the Romans, That's who right. are exactly like we're the Babylonians. Finally, going to get one here. Yeah, <laughs> and then they get killed. Yeah. 